Hello. Welcome to video number 13 of the series Mastering the Encosi System Engineering Handbook in preparation for the Encosi System Engineering Professional Exam. Video number 13 discusses the operation process. That's chapter, uh, chapter 4.12 in the System Engineering Handbook. My name is Lance Sherry and I will be your tour guide for this short video. So the System Engineering Handbook has, the, has codified and collected all of the uh, best practices for developing complex systems uh, in, a, in a complex life cycle. The System Engineering Handbook has identified 59 of these processes activities that are grouped into seven groups. This video covers um, the technical processes group and specifically the operation process. So the objectives of this video is to answer the questions, um, what is the purpose of the operation process? What are the outputs and inputs of the operations process? What pro process activities take place during the operation process? And some of the operation enabling systems. So to put things in context, um, we've slugged our way through the concept stage, the development stage, production, and finally we're about to turn the system on and be open for business, start using the system, and to, to generate revenue. The System Engineering Handbook defines the operations process as the purpose of the operations process is to use the system to deliver its services. Um, and in plain language, that's uh, to use the system to generate revenue. A point of note is the operations process runs in parallel simultaneously with the maintenance process. So the operations process and the maintenance process run uh, hand in hand. Um, keep in mind the operations process is not just about using the tool, uh, uh, using the system. The system has to be staffed, so personnel have to be uh, brought on board. Uh, these personnel have to be trained. Uh, there's no system that uh, doesn't decay over time, so the system has to be maintained. There's issues uh, that have to be managed with regards to uh, customer service and supply chain service. And then, of course, um, if there are any waste products that are generated or emissions, those need to be disposed of. A big, big, big part um, of operations process is to monitor the performance of the process, both in terms of safety and efficiency, and then take corrective actions. So the inputs to the process are the, um, the completed, uh, fully designed, validated system. Um, you're going to operate the system according to procedures and manage the operation as well as monitor the operation. And then at the back end of the system, the output is the operating system and operational uh, performance. Um, so, as we've mentioned, that the, the system in the field has to have a, a lot of enabling or supporting systems, and that includes training systems, uh, standard operating procedures, uh, facility and infrastructure, um, sustain, sustaining engineering, and uh, maintenance uh, planning and, and management. Uh, to come back to sustaining um, engineering, this is the activity related to monitoring the performance of the system over time, uh, constantly conducting uh, um, uh, failure identification and failure analysis, and then coordinating corrective actions. So a very critical part of the um, operation is uh, sustaining engineering, which is involved in monitoring and addressing any issues that may appear. One thing that's not mentioned explicitly in the System Engineering Handbook, but is very important uh, today in industry with regards to sustaining engineering, is a Safety Management System, SMS. So everywhere you'll go, you'll hear about Safety Management System. And this is a continuous improvement process that's designed to reduce hazards and prevent accidents. So something that's put in place as the operation takes place, specifically to um, address hazards and, and incidents. Um, the typical SMS has four components. Uh, number one, there's a safety policy. So senior management says we are going to take safety seriously and this is 
how we're going to uh, measure it, and these are our goals. Um, there is the uh, safety assurance. That's the uh, process that's used to monitor and take corrective actions for safety. Uh, safety promotion, uh, obviously you want to train and communicate the uh, organization's expectations with regard to safety. And lastly, sa safety risk management, and this is taking a look at the risks that are occurring in operations before they result in incidents or, or hazards. So managing the overall risk associated with the operations. So very important in modern uh, society is this idea of safety management systems. Um, so here is a quiz to test what you know um, about uh, operations. Um, so grab a pencil and paper, put the video on pause, and when you're done, you can go to the next slide, uh, undo pause, go to the next slide and look at the answers. All right, answers to the questions. So thank you for uh, participating in the uh, operations process uh, video. The next video is the maintenance process. And uh, we'd appreciate it if you can give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much.